quick disclaimer guys so my son is watching cartoons so let's fry these onions and once they are brown translucent you add in your curry leaves i like to chop mine up so that the flavors are just bursting in that pot when you're done you can add in your chilies you can slice them down the middle if you like or leave them whole then we're going to go in with some raisin spice it is optional but i absolutely love it and just mix that together the braising spice is going to incorporate with your onions and it's going to give your meal such good flavor then you can just mix that around and make sure that it is not burning but just cooking then we're going to go in with some garlic you can have whole garlic or crushed garlic whichever one you like but i'm going to be using crushed garlic it's much more easier and just cook that garlic up and go in with your curry powders you can go in with kashmiri or rambarasi jeera um garam masala but don't bang your plate like that okay <laughs> you can get your spices at gorimas as well and any spice shop you prefer also just cook that curry powder down make sure that you cook it well enough for about a minute or so and keep stirring because you don't want to eat raw curry powder and have a sore tummy once that is cooked you want to go in with your fresh clean chicken just incorporate that together and mix the spices through the chicken so that it coats each piece of chicken very well and once you're done with that you want to just throw in some of your soft cooked potatoes now this is what i do i cook my chicken and my potatoes together reason being i do not want to cook the chicken first and then put the potatoes in because then the chicken will overcook and then you will have shredded chicken and whole potatoes and ain't nobody got time for shredded chicken okay so this is my way of cooking curry and just close the pot then check up on it again add your dania your cilantro or whatever you want to call it or coriander well wherever you are from you know what it is do not add water in the pot you guys do not add water add your tomatoes cook on low as well and just mix that up together do not add water because chicken has water natural water and then close the pot open the pot mix it around and you can see that lovely lovely natural um, curry that gravy it's absolutely gorgeous I'm just loving the color you guys so then you're gonna just mix um, when you are cooking and you add your potatoes and chicken close the pot lid and cook on low it's just open on my side so that I can show you every step by step look at that lovely lovely gravy I did not put water in my pot at all absolutely no water cook on low you guys so that the chicken and the potatoes do not burn keep the pot closed so that you can get this beautiful gravy look absolutely amazing put salt to taste mix 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 and voila look at that gravy salt and you're almost done i like to add an extra dania so you can do that if you want to and it looks amazing i wish you guys could smell this look how beautiful this is I love me some extra dania love some cilantro look at this how gorgeous it is you can serve with rice you can serve in a bunny chow um, you can serve with white bread you can serve with naan and a side salad samples don't forget to like comment and subscribe